Hey, what is up, beer tubers? Eric, back at you with yet another new brewery, Monday Beer Review. Today, I'm looking at a brewery that just hit Minnesota last week. It's from Green Flash Brewing Company. I've seen a couple of the other guys on here, uh, Ryan, uh, Stumpy Joe Jr., Jameson, and Chris from Beer Geek Nation reviewed this recently. This is a Green Flash Green Bullet Triple India Pale Ale. 10.1% alcohol by volume. Triple India Pale Ale. I gotta just kind of call it out here. I haven't watched any of your other reviews, um, so I have to say that uh, I think triple IPAs are just gimmicky and stupid. I think that it's either an IPA or a double IPA. And if it's a really, really strong double IPA, then call it an extra double IPA. I don't know. With that said, uh, I guess there's no BJCP discerning name and category for triple IPA. So what are we going to come up with next? A quad IPA? Uh, but yeah, that's just me. This one is exclusively uh, hopped with New Zealand hops. Green Bullet, as you would imagine, which is incredibly piney. I've used it before. And then uh, I believe they use Pacific Gem, which I do like, but I prefer Pacific Jade. Anyways, I've got this one pre-poured out here. Comes in a beautiful, clear, hazy amber orange. Um, looks like a West Coast IPA. And this was brewed by Chuck Silva for their ninth anniversary. And pardon me, I actually don't even know how old Green Flash is as a brewing company, but would imagine nine or ten years old. First time they put this in bottles, I was happy to find this for $8.99 a four-pack. So with that said, uh, expectations are decently high given the fact that it's a triple IPA and it was this affordable. So no further ado, I'm going to get my nose into this one. Wow, immediately I got like a a good amount of tropical, mangoey, pineapple notes. Very subtle, but it's backed up with just this huge, overwhelming sense of pine character. And it, it, it uh, man, I don't know. A little too piney, a little too astringent. Smells extremely bitter. A decent amount of alcohol actually coming through the nose. And that's one thing I can't stand with these big IPAs is alcohol. And I know what I'm getting into here. So I'm going to do so and taste it. So cheers. Thanks for stopping by. Hmm. I love trying new beer that I've never had on camera for the first time with you guys. Because you get to see my raw, unedited reaction, and you get to kind of gauge if I'm bullshitting you or not. <laughs> Generally, I don't. Yeah, this one's massive. Massive amounts of pine, resinous, earthy. Really, really pungent hop character, but it it's not in a good way. Uh, it's hop character that you expect in IPAs that have sat on the shelves for a few months that are just kind of like becoming vegetative and it's just extremely bitter. It's like I, I question the brewing practice in this beer because it's it's so bitter that it leaves a lot to be desired and following the bitterness I get a subtle malt sweetness, a little bit of tropical and citrus character, but uh, no malt really, it's just bitter and then booze. It's really, really a letdown here. Uh, I expected a lot from these guys, and um, I was really excited to sit down after filming this review and actually watch everyone else's reviews, because I love supporting all of you as you support me. This beer? Wow. Um, I'm really happy I only paid what I paid for it. And I'm going to have to give it, don't judge me too hard here, for slapping the name Triple India Pale Ale on the bottle for something I already don't like just based on naming, and then kind of insulting me with the description on the side of the bottle, or packaging, the mass of mango and Pineapple notes, which I get none of. But everyone's palate's different. I've got to give this one a 75. I think this is a C effort. I think this is a gimmick beer. 
This is something you slap big alcohol on and a ton of hops in the beginning boil editions. And it's just take it or leave it. It's not something worth seeking out. It's not something worth your hard earned dollars. And this is, you know, I've done 100 and, I don't know, 105 reviews now. This is 102 that's actually going up. But uh, pretty let down. Really, really was expecting good things from Green Flash, given the fact that their West Coast IPA was really awesome. And Hophead Red I really liked, which I'll review both of on the channel. But yeah, guys, uh, don't spend time looking for this one. And I really want to question why we have even triple IPAs on the market. But I'm rambling now. We'll let you uh, continue on with your day. Thanks for stopping by and listening to my rants. Uh, I will definitely see you in the next beer review. I'm not sure what I have on the docket next. Oh, yeah, well, it's Monday, so Homebrew Wednesday will be my next upload, and I've got a really, really nice surprise for you. So cheers, guys. Thanks for stopping by. As always, we'll see you again in the next beer review.